Let me show you one of the ways you can create a roof in Maya using Mesh. First of all, you need to create different parts of your roof, then create a plane and make sure that parts of your roof are roughly the same size as every face of your plane. All the parts are placed in the center of the world. And make sure you freeze transformation on all of them. You can do it if you go to modify, freeze transformation. Let's start with just one part and hide all the two parts. If you go on your shelves, you will see that there is a one shelf called Mush. This is the one we're going to use. And select Create Mush Network here. In Outline, you will see that now we have a new node. It's called Mush. And if we open Attribute Editor, you'll see that we have access to uh, different Mush nodes. Let's open Mush Distribute. Change Distance X to 0. In Distribution Type, let's choose Mesh. And here you will see there is input mesh. All you need to do is to select that model from Outliner and with middle mouse button, click and drag it to assign it as an input mesh. Let's do that. Now we'll see that part of the roof is distributed along uh, our mesh, but it's still not exactly what we want. We need to change method from scatter to face center and you can Tick Fluid Mesh, so we'll distribute our mesh along every single face on your model. Now, if we go to Outliner and we unhide first part of the mesh, if your mesh doesn't have the right orientation or scale, you can keep adjusting your original mesh and it'll also affect your mesh. Let me show you. For example, if I rotate it, I can also scale it and then go to Attribute Editor. Let's select the last Mesh 1 Reaper node. Here we already see our part one in objects and we can add more objects to use in our mesh network. Select your object and with middle mouse button click and drag and add them into this window, just like that. Now we have part one, part two and part three. Go back to main mesh node and here you need to add ID node. All you need to do is just click on it with the left mouse button and select add ID node. Now you will see that our mesh network updated um, our mesh and we have all the parts that we created. Just like before, we can, we can keep adjusting them. We can add another node, which is pretty cool. It's called random. And now everything moved and adjusted slightly. Let's move it back to zero. We can move it a little bit to add this nice uh, random position. 